At the beginning of a new school year, it's critical for teachers to get to know their students and to become aware of how to support their strengths and their areas for improvement. Grade Expert student maps make this very easy as you can create handover maps that show last year's outcomes for this year's students, either by class or whole cohort. This information immediately alerts teachers to the relative strengths and weaknesses of their new students at the start of the new school year, removing the need for extensive start of year testing. Teachers can easily see and group students by ability in their own class or for a whole year level. To create a handover map, click Students and Results. Then click Student Maps and click New Map Group, which you can rename to Handover Maps. Then click New Map to create a map within that group and name the new map Year 5 Handover Map. You can create as many maps in that group as you like and then click Edit Map Layout and then begin to add the assessments to this new map. In this example we'll work with Osvell's English and Maths as well as the single word spelling test and PAT maths. First set the default year to 2016 which is last year so that last year's data is shown not this year's data. Then click add assessments to the map and simply choose the assessments that you want to include in this map. We'll begin with the three Osvell's English dimensions reading and viewing, writing, speaking and listening. Once those three items have been added to the map, type a 2 in the semester column, as our Osvell scores are for semester 2. Rename the first page of the map to something more meaningful, such as Osvell's English. Then add a new page to this map and name it single word spelling test. So you click on the row uh, above where you want to add a new page and you click add new page. We'll call it Swiss. Then add the Swiss assessment to this page by clicking add assessments. We'll just search for Swiss. There it is. and select the result types you want to see for the Swiss assessment. In this case we've just got the raw score selected but we want to look at the stay nine and the spelling age. We're not interested in the raw score, we just want those two. And set the term to four because these results were collected in term four of last year. These date options must match the date options that the results were saved with otherwise they won't be displayed in the map. Then add another new page and name it Osvell's Maths. Then add the three Osvell's Maths dimensions to the map by clicking the Add Assessments to Map button. That's number, measurement and geometry, statistics and probability. And as with English, set them up all as term or semester two results. And then add one more page because we also want to see last year's PAT Maths data. And we'll call this page PAT Maths. And in this page, we'll add PAT Maths. Again, ensure that is set to term four as our results have previously been saved as 2016 Term 4. Then for Pat Maths, just make the Stay 9 and Scale score available and your map is done. The last step is to make this particular handover map available to the correct staff members. 
which is done by clicking Map Available To in the top right corner and selecting the relevant staff members. If the step is not done, you will be the only person who can open this map and look at the data it contains. Then click Save and Close. And you can now open this map for the class that you're teaching this year. In this example, 2017, we're looking at class 5D. And if I open up this map, this now shows their data for the end of last year. These are the Osvels English results, single word spelling test, Osvels maths, and Pat maths. And last year they were all in different classes. This year they're all in 5D and this information that we're looking at is all from different classes. You can print this map out by clicking print map which will print the current page or you can also show this information in a graphical format by clicking graph map which will graph all the data on the current map page. You can then easily see the stronger and weaker students based on their results at the end of the previous year in any subject that you've graphed.